What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today we're gonna to be talking about why you should buy the iPhone 7. So first let's talk about color. So the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are gonna be coming in two brand new colors. One of those being jet black and the other one black. So jet black is this really nice glossy looking iPhone. It kind of looks similar to like the iPhone 3G except just a whole lot cleaner and a whole lot more refined and more basically expensive looking. But there is a downside to the iPhone 7 in jet black. And that is, it's going to show micro abrasions and scratches and everything all over it. I mean, there's even a tiny warning right on Apple's page saying, if you don't want to see these little micro scratches or if that's gonna bother you, then one, just don't get this color or two, get a case if you're gonna get this color. Now, the second one is black and black is by far the coolest looking color that I've seen on an iPhone to this date. I think it just looks insanely sexy. It's just like really stealthy and just literally the perfect color for me uh, for an iPhone. So I'm really excited about getting that. That's gonna be my daily driver for sure. So if you're into brand new colors, that's definitely one reason to upgrade. So now let's talk about the camera. So in the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you're actually gonna get optical image stabilization, which is something that you only got in the iPhone 6S Plus previously. So if you have the smaller form factor, then you actually didn't get that optic image stabilization. So that's something that's coming to the smaller form factor on the iPhone 7, if that's something that you know really bothered you, which in my opinion, it's definitely something that if you take video with your phone a lot, that's something that you definitely need just because you don't want your video jiggling around like crazy. It's just basically unwatchable. It's also gonna get an upgrade to a 1.8 aperture from a 2.2 aperture uh, that you saw on the 6S Plus and the 6S. But the biggest upgrade in terms of camera is gonna be on the 7 Plus because you're actually gonna get on the rear facing camera two 12 megapixel cameras that one is a wide angle lens at 1.8 aperture and then the, ex the next one, the second lens, is a 2.8 aperture telephoto lens. So with those two lenses, with that telephoto lens, it's actually going to allow you to get an optical zoom of two times what you normally get on the iPhone 6S Plus or the 6S. And you're also gonna have the ability to get a 10 times digital zoom, which is gonna give you some nice, crisp, clear pictures. And you don't necessarily have to be very close to the subject. Not to mention the front facing camera, your FaceTime camera or selfie camera. You're actually gonna get an upgrade from a five megapixel camera up to a seven megapixel. Next is storage. So if you're having issues with your storage right now and you know you keep getting that little pop-up that says your storage is almost full on your device, then this is something that you might wanna keep in mind when you're purchasing your iPhone 7 because now the iPhone 7 starts out at 32 gigabytes, which is a double in storage capacity from the iPhone 6S Plus and the iPhone 6S, which in my opinion was a terrible, terrible move by Apple. I think they should have most definitely upgraded from 16 gig to 32 gig being the most or the lowest uh, storage availability on the last generation iPhone, but whatever. It's late, but it's here. So basically the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus start at 32 gigabytes and then goes up to 128 gigs and then 256. So 256 I think is gonna be plenty uh, of storage for me. I'm actually on a 64 gig uh, iPhone 6s plus right now and I am totally full so I definitely need the upgrade in storage so the nice thing is you get more storage for the same price as you did last year on the iPhone 6s plus and the 6s next let's talk about the display so on the iPhone 7 display you're actually gonna get a wider color gamut so those colors are actually gonna really pop you know just in all different types of applications uh, depending on what you're looking at whether it's videos or you know pictures, you're just gonna get a better quality in terms of what those pictures or videos look like on your screen. Now, you're also gonna get a brighter screen. So it's approximately like 20% brighter than the iPhone 6S Plus and the 6S. So this is not only going to you know allow you to basically just make your device brighter, but it's also going to you know really help when you're using your phone or device outside because everybody knows when you start to use your device outside that it's really hard to see your screen even if you turn the brightness all the way up it gets a lot better in the 6s and 6s plus but with that 20 percent brighter screen you're actually going to get a whole lot better usability when you use your device outside in terms of design it's basically the same it looks very very similar you get a little different bump on the camera lenses on the back but overall it's a pretty similar looking device when comparing it to the 6s or the 6s plus 
Also on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you're gonna get new Taptic Feedback. So there's a new Taptic Feedback engine in the two new devices. And what this is going to do is basically replace that home button with a very similar feature to the MacBook uh, mouse pad. So rather than actually pushing the button down like you would normally do on your iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, this is actually just going to give you feedback like you press down the button. So the home button doesn't actually press down into the phone like a normal button would. It's just gonna give you feedback and make it feel like you actually pressed it. And of course the taptic feedback is gonna show up in different areas on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus as well. Also something else that a lot of people are really excited about is that it's splash, water and dust resistant uh, as well. So that's something that you didn't necessarily see as a feature on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, but it was kind of splash and water resistant if you saw some videos on that. So maybe it's a little bit better on the iPhone 7, or maybe it's just something that they didn't want to announce on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. And last but not least, we have the brand new A10 chip. So if you guys are upgrading from an iPhone 6S or a 6S Plus, it's still going to be a whole lot faster in the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. But if you're upgrading from an iPhone 5 or 5S, then that speed and that chip upgrade is really going to be noticeable. Now, if you're doing it from the 6S and 6S Plus, it's gonna be a whole lot less noticeable just because you know, I don't ever run into issues where my device is going really slow on my iPhone 6S Plus. But I think if you're upgrading from an older device, you're definitely gonna see and notice that speed. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you guys wanna see a video on why you shouldn't buy the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, be sure to let me know in the comments below and also by hitting that like button on this video. All right, guys, I got a whole lot more videos coming your way and I got a lot of iPhones coming my way. So we're going to have a lot of fun with these things. So just be sure you're subscribed if you guys want to stay up to date with everything that I do with these new iPhones. All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.